No. Yep, fashion victims are snapping up golfing clothing such as Pringle, and new magazines like this uh, are making golf sexy. If you don't believe me, take a look at page 64. Bunker. Wow. Certainly would. Make uh, my there is a version hop. of the game for Speed Freaks. It's called Extreme Golf, and it's already swept America like a big brush. Uh, we uh, they were proud to be the first to bring it to British television. Golfing legend Al Convey is ready to tee off. Al, how are you, mate? I'm pretty good, fellow, and may I say that was a radical, some might even say extremely tenuous and beautiful introduction, Thank and you. quite frankly, I think you're a star, Colin. Thank you. Why do they pay me so much money to say things about you like that? Unbelievable. Okay, now you can forget about the fat businessman with the platform shoes, go down to the golf course and tee off, and then go into a stuffy old boring golf house, because it's all changing, because I can tell you, for one thing, for sure, in Hawaii recently, they started off by doing this sort of open thing, and there wasn't even sort of, you know, proper golfers doing it. Uh-uh, dude. No, they had people like surfers, they had volleyball players, and they even had triathletes doing it. It was real radical. And right with me uh, right now, we have got uh, Greg Stogden, who's the editor of New School uh, Golf Magazine. He's going to convince me that golf is cool. Now, Greg, nice to meet you. Touch me, fella. Surf's up, dude. Two time. Wicked. So what exactly is extreme golf? Extreme golf is golf exactly how we know it, but as fast and as accurately as possible. Do you mean you just have to welly it? You welly it, run, shout, incoming if there's someone on the green, run again, hit, hit, hit. That's Sounds like Vietnam, definitely got an American theme to it. Incoming! Okay, now uh, why play it? Why this over contemporary golf? We just don't have time anymore, man. We have to be in work at 10, we have to get up early now, an hour, lose a few of the pounds and you're on the course. Whoa, right. whoa, no one told me it was some sort of fitness regime, I was just here for a laugh. Uh, who's playing it then? Is it dudes like me and you? Just like us, but then in America you've got like triathletes, kind of fitness fanatics all going out having a having a whack. So does that mean that golf is actually cool now? Golf's already cool mate, it's just getting a bit cooler. Clever play on words, like what you did there. Now what are the rules exactly? I mean we're about to tee off, is that what you still do? Is it a tee off? Everything's the same, you just hit it, you run, you shout again if there's someone there, hit it again, run as fast as you can. Now is it a bit difficult carrying a big bag full of clubs? This is all you need, putter and an iron, have a whack, you and a fanny pack to put your balls in season. That's, That's a bum bag to people like me and you. Now this is an exclusive on Rise. In fact, it's exclusive in the UK. Uh, extreme golf has never been seen on UK television. Okay, we're going to tee off on my three. One, two, three. Got me a welly that. Oh, yeah, I'm extreme. still at uh, North London, of course, and Finchley playing along. Oh. Uh, let's just pop that in there. There we go. A little help from my cheats trousers. I've got a ball here. Just pop that in there. Fantastic. All you do, right, you get these accessories. They're cheats trousers, and they're fantastic. Just thrash uh, Craig, of course, there. Got a bit of interference in my radio. I think I'm picking up Brussels at the moment, so you probably can't actually hear a word that you're saying. That was an absolute whipping. I've been playing extreme golf all morning. Basically, it's a fantastic sport. You just welly the ball around, you run as fast as you can. Now, Ed Hoare is a leading light, of course, uh, in the game, and uh, you've got a range of accessories. What are available then to the average punter? Well, as you've been just playing your extreme sports, we've got a nice lightweight bag. Just takes a few clubs, um, made out of refuse sacks, so it's nice and lightweight. Open well, that's up. a great idea because the game is obviously quite difficult. I mean, you've got a welly, you've got to run around, you don't want to be heavy bag that's with it. you and it's made out of refuge which is quite that's good it. the game's down it's pretty the... posh isn't it yeah well it brings down the price and opens up the barriers for everyone else to get a chance to play the game of golf now you saw me slogging at a black ball there why black well it's just not white is Sorry, it really that's, that's just going to be greg norman on the phone to me greg, <laughs> so i'll give you a ring back in a second wicked thanks very much uh, yeah so uh, you've also got a, another range of accessories there. yeah well you've got your graffiti ball which um you can tag yourself so you know who's is who's and uh, we've also got these sandy VTs, which are a bit extreme. Now, Greg, you're a sore loser. I know that. I did thrash your backside there. But you've got uh, a range of accessories as well. What uh, you got? I've got my Lindeberg belt that Parnovic's going to be wearing on the Open today, so you'll get your eyes out. I've got my 80s Pringle. The Pringle revival continues. They're yeah, giving us treats like what we want. I've got Paul Smith, Burberry, everyone's at it. Mate, it's certainly cool, to be honest. I mean, extreme golf is certainly the new cool. The kids are loving it. It's the new rock and roll. In fact, they're reclaiming the greens, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, do you fancy chances? I actually thrashed Greg. Come on, last one to the final tee is a sissy. Ta-da! Oh, no. Oh, dear. Poor old Al, always deserted. 
Discord tuh. 